Good Thursday. Did you put anything on Facebook? No, I'm doing that right now. Okay. All right, welcome, everybody. It's our 100K Guaranteed Prize Pool Tournament. I'm with the Victory Cigar, Vic G. Dominic here. Vic, a couple new elements that are in this tournament. Not only is there a 100K guarantee, pretty standard, actually. Needless to, needless to say, that used to be our biggest tournament a year ago. Yes. And now it's right. just kind of like a, a standard in between big events. We'll yeah. put a 100K guarantee. But day two. After these six flights, we had one at 11 a.m. Yes. One at 6 p.m. Yep. We we're going to do the repeat on Friday and Saturday. Correct. And then on Sunday, when we come back for day two, every single knockout on top of the prize pool will be $500 for every single player you eliminate, which brings in a whole new caveat. Yes, it does. It does. And just to quickly explain that a little bit in terms of the logistics, typically when you make it into day one in our or day two in our tournaments, then you uh, receive um, a cash payment. Um, this time uh, you don't get any money going to day two, but on day two you are already in the money and you have the potential to take out $500, $500 for every person you take out in yeah. day two. So it is a little bit different, and uh, we're getting a great response to it. This morning we had 133 players in day 1A, so 13 players have already advanced to day 2. Currently we've only just had our first break. We're not even at the dinner break right now. No. That's going to happen in a couple of hours. And um, right now we're at 114 players. So I think we're going to see pretty much about... Uh, the same amount uh, for the uh, day 1B uh, right. as we did for day 1A. Um, and we're, we've decided we're going to go live and do a feature table for day 1B. We're going to be here for a few hours. Yeah, I'm sure we'll probably go to the dinner break. That's what I'm assuming, actually. Yep. I didn't even think about that before we started. As you were saying that, Vic, it yeah. dawned on me. So it looks like we're going to be going all the way to the dinner break here. As you can see, by the way, Melissa J. At 105K, and remember, folks, we've only had the very first break. That's a great start so yeah. far for Melissa. And, of course, uh, some familiar faces here. George there. 
so in seat three. And another thing we need to make sure everybody understands is that from this point going forward, since our Millie, on all of our big tournaments like this, we're going to be going nine-handed. And uh, we like the way that went with the Millie, and now we're going to continue to do that. So for this tournament, we are nine-handed. And speaking of Melissa J., who I just dealt to uh, about an hour and a half ago or an hour ago, and she got knocked out, so she went back over and uh, rebought, and she's already built her stack up. But she's going to let this down after Mike three bets. Three or four people folding at the same time. You need to take a pause in between each one. So we can keep up with you. And she's not bluffing there. She had ace king. By the way, I talked with her for a little bit because I knew she was a new face on here. She's been playing fo poker for about 14 years. She's from Michigan. Welcomed her to the room. But we see a lot. Vic, look at all these familiar faces that we've seen on our tournaments and on our cash games at this feature table. Yeah. I including look, Zach just at our Millie. Yeah, Zach is uh, also was in C1. Wh which one did he think? Was it the Summer Series he took down? He did. Yeah, Summer Series he took down, and then he finished deep into the Millie. Mary Beth, who we've seen on some of our live streams for tournaments and on our ladies' cash live stream. Yep. Got the Colonel. 2050, I have it. Yeah, and they're doing, the, uh, they're doing the 50 50 raffle. In uh, many of our big tournaments like that, we go around and sell 50 50 tickets. And uh, doing the drawing right now, of course, this is 15 minutes ago. And it looks like. Uh, Sorry, by the way, I got to deal yeah, with to today another first day in the reserve. A, a first time from ever. Michigan. Yeah. First time. She, yeah. had, she drove a couple hours from Michigan to play. She played in uh, the morning one, got a little unlucky. So she said, I'm coming back. They're both in here. Okay. Coming back for the yeah. night one. Leo has that one. So good luck to Soy. Well, I think she actually ran um, fairly deep. I think she made it down to the, the three tables or four tables before she got knocked out. And as you mentioned, she came back for the day 1B for the second of our six flights for this $100,000 prize pool guarantee. And we've got Nikki in the box. We want to thank everybody for joining us. I see some people jumped in because they probably have that bell. And yeah. they probably got notification because we did kind of throw this together. Wanted to be able to uh, do a feature table here. And there's Dom. Thank <coughs> you. Not being in two places at one time. That was 15 minutes ago, and both yes. of the 50/50 tickets that were drawn for this one uh, were in the live room. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. I couldn't believe it. Same table. What was it? 150 each? 140 each. 140 each. All right. Yeah, and thanks to the players, you know, that raised uh, 200. Now here's uh, Zach with Pocket Kings. After a raise from Mike. All in. And a call from Leo. And Zach's going to go all in with uh, Pocket Kings in the big blind. 21,800. Brian, right now there's uh, 114 players in day 1B, and there were 133 this morning, so 13 players have already advanced to day 2 from the morning flight. Yeah, over the Leo. Got a lucky 50-50 raffle ticket. Oh. Yeah, still Zach picks up about 7.2K. Had 21 in front of him, third of his stack gained. We'll take it, no sweat. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this day too, though, Vic. Like I said, we go through so many tournaments and we've had some huge ones this year, but that whole element of 500 bucks per knockout just makes it juicy. I even said, you know how they have Mr. Irrelevant in the draft, the last pick? Yes. yes. It, was, it was Brock Purdy. Yeah. I almost, who is going to be the low stack going in the day two? I wonder if we could pinpoint it. Because you know everyone's eyes are going to be on you if you're the low stack going yeah. to day two. $500 yeah. ahead. Leo, by the way, pocket eights. Hello. Fold, 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 fold. 
And so he's going to come along now with uh, Queen Nine of Clubs. So we got heads up action. So he's going to be first to act. Ten oh, eight, boy. Seven. That's a tough flop for pocket eights. He's going to continuation bet, though. Curious to see how Soy plays this. Blinds are currently at four, eight, and four. Check or bet? Second ten. Check. Check. And here comes the river. And Actually with all of that out there, my goodness, Leo's eights are going to hold up. Let's see if he makes this call. Nope. Lays it down just way too much uh, out there for Soy. those eights. And that's a nice bet by Soy in early position. And she takes down that pot. Very nice. Always good when you can win with queen high. And there's a look in the main room where the action's at. Love it. Yeah. We just had our first flight and not too long ago. To about uh, two hours ago, I yeah, think it was. Yeah, so th those couple tables right there, we had some players playing, but it's been a nice turnout so far I, today. Yeah, I take that back. About an hour and a half ago. Especially on a Thursday when some people, you know, when we get people that travel here, normally they get here on Friday, they might take one work day off and then have a long weekend. So for a Thursday, pretty impressed. Numbers are good. Looks like we have ten tables going right now, including the one we're watching. Nine out there in the main lobby. And there's still room to grow. 2,200. 22 total. Colonel's going to raise this up now in the cutoff with King Queen of Hearts and make it 2,200. Colonel, Colonel is Colonel. here for the weekend. He's decided he's going to play uh, every flight. He did play the morning flight. Five, five, four, a couple of diamonds. Ace high, still in the lead for Leo. Twenty-one hundred. That is no help to the colonel. Leo continues to put the pressure on fifty-five hundred. You know, I just might have. The comment is, I may have to believe you. Well, it, he didn't have a monster, but he did have you beat. He was ahead, absolutely. This is a uh, $240 buy-in, $100,000 prize pool guarantee. Starting stack is 40000 These are 25-minute levels. Late entry until the start of level 9. We get that uh, question quite often. So if I'm playing in the uh, 11 a.m. flight, what time do I have to be there? And the answer is uh, sometime around... 3.30, 2.30, somewhere in there. But just to give you an example, the uh, playing down to 13 players, the 11 a.m. flight was over at uh, around 7 p.m. And so that's another common question. We will play down to 10% of the entries in this flight, but we still have, we're just at... Uh, Level number five right now. There are still three levels to go at 25 minutes apiece, plus then a 15-minute uh, dinner break before late, late entry is over for this one. And look at this flop. I My think they goodness. a full 30, by the way, for Colonel with pocket queens. Mike with pocket nines. Oh, hey -oh. And the Super Moose 858 comes out. <laughs> the Super Moose. Out on the board. Now you saw... The moose get a straight flush yesterday. The power of the moose is real. He, yes. I told him about it today. Yeah, he he's was jealous uh, it wasn't him. He is in the house. He's here for the day one B. And actually, he got here just right at that first break. Sitting down with a $40,000 starting stack. And Colonel takes a pot down. And he now has well over twice of his, uh, two times of his uh, starting stack. I think that 
it definitely benefits like Colonel and actually about half of the table that they're used to playing with the lights on. It's not their first time. It's not going to affect their game. They've been on the live stream. Yeah, probably the person with the most uh, live stream room ex experience is Colonel, followed by Zach. Zach probably has the most tournament experience in yeah. the live stream room. And Melissa, no stranger to running deep in tournaments. Three total. Four, 400, 800 with a four hundred dollar Annie and Soy is going to raise this up to three thousand. Now clean nine of clubs in the big blind. I like how she's playing her position in the cutoff, getting aggressive with it. We're going to go heads up. And wow, look at Soy flopping top pair with the ace high plus draw. Jin. That's the kind of flop that dreams are made of. Three. Unfortunately for Soy. Mike really has no piece of this unless uh, he doesn't believe her and wants to come along. But a win is a win. There's another pot while we're watching for Soy. Oh, we've seen Mike. He made a deep run. Almost made the final table in our one million guarantee. So he's no stranger to how to take down a tournament. I think it's funny that we just had our one million guarantee and all of a sudden on this featured table on day one. Two players that made deep runs that we saw throughout the week have great success. Yeah. This feature table uh, was, wasn't was one that we threw together. This We used this table to start the tournament with, so it's oh. just another table within the tournament itself. We will uh, keep this table, uh, like we do all of our tables, balanced. Yeah, you got a phone, you got to put it over there. Oh, i got to put my phone. Yeah, does anyone oh, have, like, a smartwatch on anything? No. Okay. Three total. Paul making sure everyone knows the rules. Are you folding? So he getting after it again with the dead man's hand suited and clubs. And Mike coming along too again. And now the Colonel three ways Vic, 10.2K in the middle. And we have a 6-3-9 board, couple of diamonds. Right now, ace high still in the lead. Yeah, it's a nice board for ace eight when you're in position and you uh, were the pre-flop aggressor. So Soy puts a bet out there of uh, 5K. And I think she's going to get some pretty quick folds, and she does. And another pot here for Soy. Oh, first impression, Vic, what do you think? First time on the live stream, playing your position well, getting yeah. aggressive. I did not get a chance to, uh, or did I? Don't believe I. No, I did get a chance to deal to her earlier today. Very nice woman. She actually introduced herself. Hey, I'm Soy. How are you? And I was like, oh, talkative person. I like it. Yeah. And so, yes, the uh, this is a random draw for the uh, players that are at our feature table. And the Colonel now with pocket jacks. We got hooks. Zach letting Queen 10 go. All the way around. Not a whole lot there to be no. impressed with. King 9 was really the best hand, but I don't blame Tim. I'm playing queen 10, king 9 is pretty much the same thing. Don't want to call off your stack. You're in bad shape. Game face on. Everyone's dialed in. Yes, they are. This is uh, what we're going to see, I think, here in... Uh, our 100k guarantee on our feature table. Raising up to 800. Yeah, we used to like, you know, no net Thursday. Gold. Everyone's chirping at each other. At. Right now, the eye of the tiger for everyone. Assuming all these players watched either Rocky 1, 2, 3, or 4 before they came in the reserve today, just to set the mind right. So here's a, here's a uh, Mike raising up to 3,500. 
Ooh, look at this. A king gets there for Mike. Nine, king, eight pick. Couple of clubs. Check. 35 total. So Mike now up close to uh, double his starting stack, right around uh, seventy-five thousand. Starting stack for everybody here is forty thousand. There's uh, in our big tournaments we do not do an add-on, and we do not do an add-on uh, at the break. You pay two forty, and this is what you get: forty thousand. Got to make the best of it. That's when I usually see Mike play his best poker is when he's the eraser and he's not calling. Right. Dictating the action. And now Tim limping in here with ace-10. And Melissa now. Pocket sixes, pocket sevens for Colonel. Getting it juicy. And we've got two callers. Here comes the flop. Oh, boy. Look what at an this. action board. 7, 5, 8, rainbow. Set of sevens, and then Melissa with an open-ended straight draw. And a free card. Gut shot for Tim comes into play. Yeah, we're going to peel one. Melissa's got four outs. And that's not full one of house. them. It's a full house now here for Colonel. That might be a good card for Colonel with the second jack. He might get paid off here. It's more likely he'll get paid off with sixes with that jack coming on the river than if it was just a blank. And he does get paid off. Don't blame her for calling there. You know, the flush draw miss on the turn. Yeah. The straight draw missed. You had the blockers right in your hand with that pair. It wasn't a huge bet yet. Probably haven't played too long against your opponent. Sometimes information is just important, especially when you've got a lot of chips in front of you. Yeah, Mike, it is randomly picked. Pretty much when they're randomly picked, but I'm pretty sure we had this at the start of the tournament. So basically yes. when you're, we're printing, I believe this is like table 16, so when the players are going up getting tickets, right? if you got table 17, yes, it was unofficially the live stream table. MBA want to see some action here, so she makes the call with 8-6 of hearts. And Zach in the big blind is going to check his options, so we're going to go five-handed. Not a card over 10 here, and here comes a 10 on the flop. I was about to say, asking you shall receive Vic 10-3-8. So open-ended for Tim. Yeah, MBA even hits mid-pair. MBA bets 3,000. Now a second 10 comes giving MBA also a flush draw. And with his open ender, Tim is going to push all in. And MBA currently in the lead. Tim just has six outs if she makes this call. And she does make the call. She's going to be thrilled when she sees this, though. She has blockers with the six. Yes. In great shape. Also the hearts. Tim only with six outs right now. And the five gives her the flush. And NBA takes it down. Nice hand. 
And deep down, she's excited, folks. <laughs> Don't let that poker face fool you. She yeah. loves the game. Yeah, she does. Loves the play. Yep. She's given the facade. Calm, cool, and collected. Calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, there you go. You know, friends may even call her Mary Beth. There's a sorority. <laughs> I saw her and Tenley pull up here today. Tenley is in the uh, main room. She had a nice run, though, Vic. You saw she almost made it to, like, the final three tables. Got a little unlucky. Got rivered, but I she's think, back. I think she said right something again. like 33rd or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, with 13 advancing. Well, 42. Melissa... Gets ace king again. This time she's going to play it, bumping up the 4.2. Oh wow, soy pocket kings, big hand alert, folks. And she's just going to call here. Opens the door for Mike to come in with his pocket fours. Yeah. And George with ace three of spades. Blinds are up next hand. Blinds are going up next hand. 25 minute levels. And look at that, all hearts on the flop. Oh boy. We might be getting it all in here, folks. And Soy and Melissa, can you imagine? Check her out. Melissa checks a that. Card. A free card, and the board pairs. Eight thousand is the bet. Melissa makes the call, and she has eight outs. Oh. Oh, boy. The ace comes. So I reach it down again for chips. And they both have a lot of chips. Melissa might just smooth call this with that board. She just might. It's the only player that can really put her in jeopardy of losing a big lead. She makes the call, and the aces, the ace king takes down kings. Kiwi Colleen in the house. Hope you're doing well, Colleen. Isn't that an example of sometimes when we play poker all the time, there's no right or wrong way to play poker? Because in our heads, Vic, I'm sure you and me are thinking, oh my gosh, you have a chance to get it all right now. Don't smooth call pre-flop. You got kings versus ace king. Get it in there. Right. Get it in there. Right. Well, guess what? Well, she would have gotten it in there. She would have gotten rivered. Yeah. So in a way, <laughs> saved her some money, and she's still got a nice stack in front of her. Get it back this next hand. You never know. Ace, four, deuce, rainbow board here, and nobody gets anything, Vic. The best is king high with the gut shot to the wheel. This is what you call playing your position when players show weakness, and that's the reason why Zach makes deep runs. Yeah, good continuation, or good bet there in position. Shout out to Kiwi on the message board for tuning in. Kiwi, hope all is well. Man, Chris D in the house, too, from Connecticut. Love it. Darren in here. Brian. Jason. Brandon G. Todd, by the way. Todd was the first one to hit the like button. Got to give a shout out to Todd K. Absolutely. Todd, hope to see you in here playing in this thing soon. 3K. 3 total. So the blinds uh, went up that last hand, uh, so the graphic is uh, not correct down there. I believe we are at 500, 1,500. And Leo is going to raise this up to 3,000, and the Colonel is going to come along, as does MBA. Zach folds back over to Soy on in position. And now Mike needs 2,000 to complete, and he does. So we've got a hand here six ways into this flop. Well, look at there, a set of sixes right right away for MBA, but we got a big hand alert because Mike just flopped the nuts on a 10-6-7 board. 
Not to mention Colonel with the queen high flush draw. Hold on to your butts, folks. Colonel also has a gut shot straight draw. Can we say geez Louise and Mina right Louise. now? Geez Louise, no kidding. Holy Toledo, what are some other terms? There's a possibility, folks, we could see a three-way all-in on this flop and it'd be justified for all the players. Going over the mic, I doubt he's going to slow play this with the flush draw out there. With two players in, and there's 44K or 42K in the middle. There we go. There it is. The all in plus. All in. Putting the pressure on. Leo gets out of the way. And now, all in from MBA and a fold wow. from Colonel. That's a tough lay down for Colonel. You got a gut shot straight draw with the flush draw. MBA's got seven outs here. That's not one of them. Here we go on the river. When the 10 pairs the board. Wow. She hits. And MBA is on a heater, Vic. Yes. She was down the 14K. And now she's vaulted up to 94K, just a smidge over. Don't don't forget that point two. It all adds up. But MBA in the house. And those are just two monsters. I know, I know Mike's frustrated, but he can also understand why someone's calling with a set. But at the same time, just like, why can't I run pure when I flop the nuts? Right. Really? I flop the nuts and I can't get chips my way? Colonel dodged, you know, a landmine there too. I mean, it's a little tempting when you got two players all in and you got a gut shot straight draw with a queen high flush draw out there. I think we know a couple poker players that might come along for that. That's right. But yeah, nice rush of cards for NBA. And doing it live at the reserve on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also, that bell for notifications. Five handed now going to the flop. Yeah, and a five eight deuce rainbow board. Top pair from Melissa J. Everyone else is sharing cards. A couple of players at the Nemesis. Got a 2200 here from Melissa. And this this is probably going to go all the way through. Nope, we got a call here from uh, Leo. He's got Queen 10. And Melissa now open ended. And the board pairs. Yep, two pair good. You going for a little value town here? 3K? <laughs> that was a juicy turn for her, getting the open ender with top pair. And uh, Darren asks, when is the next PLO stream? Well, Darren, I'll tell you this much. We are working on that, but we don't have a specific date. We just had our 1 million guarantee just about a month ago. Now we have our 100K guarantee. Also, our three-year anniversary tournament's coming up. I believe that's a quarter million. Yeah. So it's been a little chaotic in a good way at the reserve on weekends. But we are possibly squeezing one in before the quarter million guarantee. That'll be in one month. Zach now pocket threes. He's going to raise this up to 3,000. Soy making the call. Queen eight of diamonds. Mike on the button. A suited ace. He's got hearts. You got to have heart. Four way action here to okay. this flop. Please Melissa is going to be first to act. And look at that. 
Man, Mike, smacking the flop right there. Oh, my. Queen, ace, king. Top pair with the nut flush draw. Melissa with bottom pair with the gut shot. 65 total. There's a bet of 6,500 from Mike. So I did get a piece of this. I like this bet. Either build it up so if you hit big, don't get greedy at the same time. If you have the best hand, just take it down now. Looks like we've had some more people join us. Thank you very much. This is the 100K guarantee. It is the Bounty Tournament. This is day 1B. Just a feature table here. Yep. 133 players uh, this morning for day 1A. 13 players have already advanced on to day 2. 34 total. We'll take the top 10% from this flight which uh, an hour ago was uh, 114 players with uh, more time to go for a registration here. JF in the house from Canada, by the way. Tune in. See uh, courtside in the house. Got the river at. Giving a shout to Colonel. Appreciate you guys. Couple of quick folds there. Now the nemesis, King Jack for George. Leo come in. A little bit of an OG John special. King seven suited. So we're going to go heads up to the flop. George going to make a continuation bet here. Oh, we got Wesley the Warlock. And George, maintaining himself just above the starting stack. This is a $240 buy-in tournament. 40000 starting stack. No add-on either at the beginning or at the break. This is two date. This is the second of six flights leading up to this Sunday. Restart is at 1 p.m. on Sunday. Giddy up. Queen. 35 total. After a limp in from Leo, about a 3,500 and a quick call from Leo. So we're going to go heads up, Zach against Leo. And we have a Jack Deuce six board. Jack. Leo yeah. flopping the nut, flush draw, ace high currently in the lead as is. Now the board pairs. Check. Check. Standard procedure. No one's even blowing on it. Goes to showdown. Leo with the ace. Got a dealer change in there. Is that Danielson? That is Danielson coming in. Trained by Mr. Miyagi, the arts of dealing. Ladies for George. First act. Six, 
lines at five hundred one thousand and five hundred and dollar ante. George, you're doing a good job. Under the gun, George now raising up Kings right into Zach. Zach's Kings. And right behind him, Soy with oh. pocket nines. Can Soy sniff this out? Third best is never a good thing. Oh, all in. Wow, three-way all in. Oh, boy. Kings, queens, and nines. Oh, my. And now Danielson will get the pot right here because we are going to have a, a side pot. Zach, the low stack, going into this between the three of them. Wow, he's in a great spot right here. And Soy's going to have a little bit of change coming back. Here we go. Caleb is calling it. Says the Nines are going to win. All right, three way all in here. Everyone's got good pairs. Great pairs, big pairs, and a king right in the window, full house. That pretty much locks it up. Wow. wow. Yeah, you need runner, runner, nothing funner. Wow, quads. Quads for Overkill. Zach. Overkill. The Uzi. And George is going to take down the side pot with the queens. And Soy still has a uh, chip in a chair here. That changed the dynamic of things. This is uh, day 1B, and there's still time. If so, he does get knocked out to go back up to the cage and re-enter 240 bucks. So you give the gentleman who just made a final table run in the millie a little bit of a run good in a triple up. Danger. Danger. For everyone in the tournament. Just rips everybody down. How do you do it? Correct. Well, you know, I played good in a lot of Doesn't just just really even want to drum down on the flop and drum like 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 dead. Their kids dead on the turn. All of it. Yeah. Uh, it's addicting. Yeah. Uh, Keep seeing people. Other people do it. And Wesley the Warlock has uh, joined us. He uh, lived in under the gun with his 9-8 of clubs. And it's going to come back around to him. I love that play, by the way, by Leo. Yeah. Ace 10 with the shove. You just saw a hand where three huge pairs are out there. Yeah. Odds are that's not going to happen again. Well, that's and a good point. And then everyone's kind of spooked at the table. Right. Where they just saw kings, queens, and nines. Why not take advantage and get some dead money, especially when the blinds are getting higher and higher? Anytime you got a chance to steal, especially when you're in, in hunger of a double up, take advantage of it. Maria. Maria in the house. Who wants tamales from Maria? I do. I do. I've got to put out... Uh, a standing order here with the folks in the main room when we're back here on the live stream because this is all 15 minutes ago which means I missed Maria had I known she was here I would have definitely uh, placed an order yeah so if you guys are playing on Friday or Saturday and Maria comes in and myself and Vic are back here <laughs> aka Saturday or Sunday be a team player yeah let, us, let, 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 let myself, you know, you can get one of the staff members. They can come back and remind us. We, we'd appreciate we, We'll even share some of the tamales. They come in big packs of, what, 20? So Soy is all in here with pocket fives, and there's three other players in the hand that can create a side pot. Nemesis hit, and also we've got Mike with a huge draw. Or I should say add to the side pot. With, yep. with a straight. Ooh. Everything. Cool. Everything you could want. Wesley gets out of the way, and we're heads up for the side pot. And there's the straight. 11,000. All in. Call. Uh, wow. 
The wow. action at this table is just Look huge at right this. now. And, and the blinds are only 501 k Just jostling for position. And Mike takes down a big pot there and two players vacate the seats here. Yeah, this is a featured table for our day 1B. We're playing nine-handed at all of our tables now for our major tournaments. This is definitely a major tournament. That's what I said, yeah. So we'll probably see a couple of players coming in from the uh, main room here shortly as we keep the tables balanced. And there's Marissa collecting seat cards. Kiwi, uh, everybody's lunch is on their own pretty much today. Uh, I got sent on a run to the uh, taco truck. Not here, but down the street. Picked up some tacos, burritos. I couldn't finish mine. I've been sharing it. Other people get pizza. We saw somebody with some Chinese food during the dinner break. And here we are, heads up now. NBA ace, king of clubs, up against Mike, who just took down, took two players out. And NBA, the heater continues for we saw her really low in chips when we first started this live stream, and then she just shot up close to 100K. Easy with those blue chips, NBA. And she takes down a pot. Gets herself close to being uh, double her starting stack. Starting stacks, 40,000 here. And by the way, if you're coming in on Saturday or Sunday, there's no add-on, no nothing at all. The buying gets you all the bells and whistles. 40K to go. Chris, you ask a very good question. Uh, I was going to grab that number before I came in here, and I forgot to. I'm going to... Make a run out to the uh, main room real quick and see if I can get the uh, what the uh, leading starting stack is right now out of the 13 players that have moved on to day two from our morning flight. Thank you for that question. <laughs> Melissa raising with uh, King Nine of Clubs. George is going to make the call here with 5-4 of diamonds. And now Wesley, a.k.a. Wesley the Warlock, who's made some really deep runs in some big tournaments this He's year. He's going to 3-bet this now. Make it 15,000. Mike gets out of the way, as does MBA, and quick folds. And so Wesley's going to take down the pot. After a couple of uh, not only the blinds, but then a couple of uh, bets there from Jessica and uh, George. Yeah, he got it all in. Uh, the flop was 10 5 3 2 clubs. He had 10s. Sure. Yeah. Wesley, the warlock. Two all ends in he doesn't have the warlock hood on today. It almost looks. It just looks different. I mean, he does have the collar pop, though, 80s style. I can respect that. But, you know, any anyone who loves the 80s can respect, you know, the jumpsuit, the zipper with the collar popped. 
We got a deuce, queen, seven, or I'm sorry, nine board. A couple of diamonds. Good shot for NBA. Ace high still in the lead. And she pairs her 10. Hey, the run good. Continues. Man, she was trying to milk that so bad she didn't even put the whole min bet in. Only half. Vitamin D milk, whole milk. In seat two. Good luck, good sir. Couple of folds around the table. And we got sixes versus nines on an ace seven three board. Couple of spades. Yeah. Mike showing the goods. Am I seeing that correctly? What you wrote down that you're about to announce? What a what a solid name, Dominica Torre is the uh, bag leader right now from our morning flight where 13 players moved on to day two. And he is the uh, chip leader for day two right now out of those 13 players with 785,000 in chips. I thought it was Dominic A. Dominic Torre. <laughs> Dominic uh, Torre. Sweet not, name. And then uh, the lowest stack that uh, bagged this morning was 160,000. Looks like we have four players to the flop right now. The table's just starting to loosen up. It really Seems is. I like it. It was pretty uh, pretty tight. Yeah, early on it was really tight when the live stream started. All of a sudden, everyone getting their comfort zone. Also getting used to the players at the table a little bit more. And now after this flop, the sevens are in the lead for Zach. But Colonel's going to put out a continuation bet here. He's got a table image for it, Vic. And, Zach, I, I love this raise right yeah. here. You're not getting pot committed where you have to call if he comes over the top, but you're seeing where you're at. It seemed like a C bet. It's, it seemed a little fishy, and it worked. Yeah. Nice play. Anastasia, what do you mean you forgot it was this weekend? You going to come in here and play? We going to see it tomorrow, Saturday? I hope so. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, Anastasia. This is the second of six flights. The next two, the next four flights tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., 6 p.m. tomorrow evening, then again Saturday at 11 a.m., 6 p.m. on Saturday. Restart on Sunday is at 1 p.m., We're going to live stream about uh, three hours, I think, here tonight just for this feature table. All of the flights will play down to the top 10% as we did this morning. Start at 11, mm -hmm. 
That concluded at around 7, 7.15 when they finally got down to 13 players. We're at about, uh, I believe, 120 plus players right now in this flight with still more time to enter. Oh, yeah, we're going to go way. Yeah, we'll definitely go over the 13 players advancing the day two. In this Mike flight. here getting two pair open ended here for Wesley the Warlock. Open ended for MBA. A lot out there, Vic. Back over to Zach, who's got a gut shot. Yeah, he's going he's to stay in there. Put the chips down. So we got a pot building here. Almost 22,000. Four players going to the turn. Oh, and an eight comes. What an interesting card now. Look at that. Wesley gets top pair with an open ender. Zach, top pair with a gut shot. Mike with his two pair. He's going to push all in here. Yeah, that. He. Hmm. 31K. He's going to take it down. Take uh, it down. I wow. was curious with those players improving their hand if you were going to see some action. But, yeah, 31K. The push worked. No funny business. And be sure to go to uh, the reservepoker.com. It won't be in there uh, in the next couple hours, but perhaps sometime tonight, Jim will be posting the uh, baggers from uh, 1A and then eventually 1B on the reservepoker.com. Just got that confirmed. He's been at it all day today, him and Marissa. George, by the way, waking up with the ladies. Second time now for George with the Queens. The last time he had it, Zach had Kings and Soy had Nines. And that was a triple up for Zach. And George took down the side pot in that particular hand. This time nobody calls him. Charlie rooting for Melissa. Gets a good juju. And Charlie seems like there's a number of players in the room uh, for this, both the morning and the, uh, well, I should say just the afternoon session, evening session that uh, know Melissa coming down here from Michigan, a couple of charity rooms up there that they play in. I'm assuming that that might be where you uh, know Melissa from as well. Colonel now, King-10, coming along. Little pot builder here. Little pot builder with the blinds at 600, 1200, and an ante of 600. I don't blame Mike on his button, playing his position there, trying to see a flop for the men. Now we have seven players going to the flop, 9K in the middle. This is already nice. And here we go, deuce, ace, eight, couple of hearts. Ace Jack for Mike, flopping the best of it. Yeah, Mike gets the best of this for sure. And they check all the way around to a free card. I'm surprised that that much in there is just a free card with Ace Jack. But now Wesley picks up some outs with his 5-3. A 3, 5, or 4 is good. If there's a bet, Melissa's going to stay in. Yeah, Mike bet 3,000 here. This is going for the gut shot. Yep. As is Wesley. Oh, no, Wesley doesn't have a gut shot. I'm sorry. Mike doesn't like that last card there. He's going to check it. He does have the check mark with the ace. Melissa bets out 16,000. And a call there from Mike, and a nice call from Mike. 
Takes it down, 50K in that pot. Yes. And now at this table, Mike uh, is our chip leader. So Kiwi asks how many flights each day. We run two flights each day for three days total, Kiwi. On Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, they're at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Our flight ended around 7 o'clock, maybe a little bit past 7. So it was just over eight hours. They get down to 13 players. I think they were only hand for hand, Vic, for like two or three hands. It yeah, didn't take it, long. yeah, it didn't take long when they, once they got down to uh, 14 players. And really, once they got down to two tables, for whatever reason, oftentimes you get down to two tables in these situations, and then it takes quite a while. Mm -hmm. Definitely in the millie. Well, yes. But yeah. also the structure is a little bit different. We yeah. had extra long blind levels for that, so that plays in a factor. Right. I believe these are 25-minute blind levels, a little bit shorter. Wesley raises it up with King Queen. To be Next hand. Queens for Mike. On deck. Now up to the plate. 4K to go. Dirty diaper. Too expensive. Now we're the Leo looking down at 10-7 offsuit. Yeah, not ideally what you want, but you do have a discounted price. Is he going to defend? Ah, uh, he thinks about it again, says no. Wait another time. The Warlock bumping it up to 3200. Just below 3x range. NBA coming along. And we're going to get three players going to the flop here. Check from the Warlock. Check from Mike. Get the graphics caught up here real quick. Four players. Take that back. Wesley bet five. Enjoyable. Mike raised it up to 14. Mike sensing weakness, thinking it's a C bet. He's correct. The bluff works. Nice yeah. play by Mike. Nice play there and by he, Mike. Yep. And he acts like he had a huge. I love the little oof and the, you know. Yeah. Frustrated yeah. nobody called look right. with the 
Shenanigans right there. Right. Oscar winning performance. Well done. We had uh, 133 players this morning. 13 people advanced to uh, day two, which is Sunday, start time of 1 p.m. And right now, coincidentally, we have uh, 133 players in uh, flight 1B. However, there's still some more time, so uh, we could be somewhere like around 140, 145 at the end of registration for 1B. George raises to 5,000 with uh, pocket sevens. Leo's going to make the call. He's hungry for a double up, and right now Leo oh taking boy. the lead, though. Queen, 9-5, rainbow board for Leo. Beautiful flop for his queen. Continuation bet here from George. Wants to see where he sits with his sevens. And just a smooth call. Just a smooth call here from Leo. And no help for George there with the two of diamonds. And they go, check, check, here's a free card. Oh, Leo, getting some value slow playing that on the river. Taking it down, nice pot. What do you think of that play from Leo? It confused me. So I can imagine okay. if you're going against someone, it could confuse them. And I think that's the reason why he got an extra 5000 on the river. But with the run out, with a six and a deuce, I, I will say I'm a little surprised. You know, he didn't even try to milk it out, maybe, you know, raise it up to 13, even, or 15, like three exit. It was a pretty safe turn in river unless literally they turned a river to set. But, you know, the chances of that are unlikely. Not too often you're going to hit a clean flop like that with ace-queen. Nines for Zach and another pocket pair here for George. We've seen him have queens twice. He just had sevens. Now he's got fives. If I were going to give the uh, VPIP leader right now, I believe it would be Leo. He's uh, he's active. He's very active. And here we go, five-handed to the flop. And we have a three-jack six board. Right now, Zach still firmly in the lead with his nines. And it gets checked around, and the board pairs. And you like seeing that with nines right there. Yes. The second jack come. Flush draw does come into play for Melissa J. Yeah, and Zach's experienced enough here. He's going to go ahead and bet this. George is going to try to see one more card here. And a flush draw here for Melissa as well as Yeah, she, she could hit a six, yeah. So a few more outs. Go along with her flush draw, but not that 10. Goes to showdown, and uh, Zach takes down this pot. Yeah, 25K in the middle. He's going to profit 18.6K to his stack, and Zach has rised up, up to 113K. Really seen MBA and Zach kind of have the biggest swing so far since we started this live stream. Our day 1B flight. Second flight of today started at 6 p.m., and we basically came in right after the first break. And here comes Adam, the professor. A.K.A. the professor. Yes. You all know uh, the professor from in the booth. Definitely a big part of this, especially uh, when me and Vic have a day off sometimes. Times pretty much the professor always fills in and does a magnificent job. Number one laugh in the United States of America. <laughs> it's very distinctive. Mike looked like he was going to get aggressive there, but decides to Leo. fold, and Leo is coming He's in again some cards, here. Isn't he, Vic? Going to raise it up to 3500 The blinds are at 600 1200 with a $600 Annie. MBA decides she wants to see this with her ace-five. 
and good Zach gets out of the way. That's a good, good for NBA. Zach getting rid of a king, and we have a ten three six board. Check check, check. to the turn. Pairs the board. Just over a half pot, and the bluff works. Takes it down with king high. And, well, we saw Mike do it, and now Leo does it. Kind of does like a shrug like he didn't get any action. Right, I guess that's right. the yeah. the new fad right now. Oh, so if darn. You, yeah, like if oh, you have darn. a complete bluff, you yeah. just kind of shrug the shoulders, kind of do a little thing with your arms and hands. Yeah, and like roll of the eyes. Oh. Maybe take the cap off a little bit. And yeah, I wouldn't mind if someone adds again. that to it. Like, yeah. you take the brim of the cap and you move it back and forth, yeah. just sand scraping your uh, forehead right. in frustration when you just bluff someone out of a pot. And you mentioned Adam comes in here from time to time to commentate. Also, our good friend Mike comes in. And we have to do a shout-out to uh, Mike's wife, Jackie. It's a good chance she's watching here tonight. And uh, she's going to be going in for uh, some surgery on her pinky finger. and uh, She can't play? She can't play, and she's going to be uh, laid up for a little while. But, Jackie, everybody's thinking about you here at the reserve. Yeah. Hope everything goes well. I'm sorry to hear that, Jackie. And as we say that, Leo. Look at NBA. Ace-9. Oh. Wow. Oh, terrible boy. Turn card for NBA. Leo flopping two pair. NBA slow playing trips. And course the second jack comes there's a check from Mike and a bet of 3,000 yeah there's really no reason to raise here at least she's playing damage control heads up action oh and now I mean right now uh, I hate to say it you either go for real value or you shove and you just pray that someone's got the case jack well, 3,000, she'll come along for that probably. And not, she's not overly thrilled about this. But for that cheap. Yeah, she even says just in yeah, case. Yeah, just in case. And uh, no just in case. A full house with the Jack-10. And she shows the 9, ace-9. Sure started out pretty there for NBA, but nice pot here. I think the same thing would have happened regardless because he did flop two pair, but we do see from not just on our tournament, but this week on our cash tables, the free card. Yeah. Just sometimes you I'm not a fan. Burn. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Because even Unless I'm on the receiving end it, but And if you have that ace nine and you raise, and another player has a jack, they might think their kicker's better yeah. by chance, especially if it was bigger than jack 10. And they're like, well, are they really going to lead out with trips? So a lot of times you can make the pot even bigger for the turn in river. Under the gun for Wesley, queen 10. He's going to limp in. Pocket fives now for Leo. Is a little heater going here for Leo? Yeah, I'd say so. Melissa. Well, Making the raises to 6,000 with ace jack. A call from George with the 9 8. A call from Wes Wesley. You know Leo's coming in. He's got to play the rush. Got to. Not particularly with all that money out there so far. Oh, oh and he lays down the fives. Okay, a little surprising there. But hey, we'll see a flop now. Regardless of the flop, I wish he would have played that rush. But, hey, look at there. He knows yeah. what he's doing. King, queen, jack, rainbow board. Two players with straight draws. And look at there, Wesley, the warlock, along with Melissa, turning two pair. She doesn't look thrilled. No, she doesn't look thrilled. She's got two pair. She's got five outs. That's an even worse card on the River 4. This time Wesley's going to bet out 10,000. Right now with her hand, you're only calling the chop 90% of the time at best. Straight. 
Yeah, when those queens paired. I think she showed the two pair. Wesley's going to take down a nice pot, though. Getting yeah. value on the turn and the river. Nice hand, Warlock Wesley. Boy, time just flies, Dom. I'm trying to remember what tournament it was that we saw. First saw the, the Wesley, the Warlock. He had the hood. He two. had the hood. And uh, just played master, masterfully. I mean, he... Oh, it was smooth. It was very smooth. I think he sat down with a less than average stack and then just started to run over the table. He Had took over really the tournament run. that day. What's that? He took over the tournament he that day. He took it over. And we were watching him play for quite some time. It wasn't just a couple hour live stream that day. No, he played great. Well, Zach he's now consistent. with the fives this time, and he's going to... And George with queens again, the third time George gets queens. And Zach is going to make the call. Yeah, that's an instant call. Even yeah, the with, fives, uh, with the, the difference stack. between the two stacks. And you can hear the, uh, the alarm in the background. Blinds are going up this next hand. Will the queens hold up? Yeah, well, that's a good flop. King, Pretty 10, good 8. Flop. Couple of hearts. Now a 5 eight. and a 5 only. And George is going to double up. George doubles up here with his queens. The old saying, chip in a chair. Yes. This is level number 8. So 25 minutes now in this level, and then there will be a dinner break. At the end of the dinner break will be the uh, end of registration. There is no add-on. There's no pre-tournament add-on or add-on at the break. Just $240 gets you 40000 in chips. We had 133 players in uh, the first flight this morning. 13 players moved on to day two. The chip leader in that uh, you gotta make it 32, George. of those thir 13 players, Dominic Torre, 785,000. The low stack, not going to mention a name, 160,000. <laughs> Incognito. I didn't. I didn't see the need. Well, Ace King against Ace King. They'll chop up a little bit, unless we see. Uh, I, I hope I don't jinx anything right here. George needs clubs or spades. Mike needs diamonds. Well, spades are alive. And uh oh, we might see it. Oh, George, free roll on though yeah. on the turn. All right, on to the next one. All is well. Nothing to see here. Mm -hmm. Move on to the next hand. We got a smile out of Mike? Was that a smile? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. He, he faded the free roll. George is always smiling. Uh, Mike, by the way, rocking the reserve t-shirt. Love it. Melissa, let's go queen 10, but Colonel coming in with king queen. Yeah, he had the one upper there. Another pair here for Zach. Pocket sixes. Warlock with ace jack also. Races to 5,000. A lot of hands out there, Vic. Yeah. Suited jack 10, gets thrown in the muck. But jack 8 of diamond says, hey, I'm here to play. And Colonel's kind of the same mood as uh, Leo, kind of like, why not? Let's get in here, see what happens, because here comes the flop, four-handed. And we have a 7-5 ace board Wesley with by far the best hand currently right now.
5,500 is the bet from Zach. It's an exact perfect. There's a smooth call. Very smooth from Wesley. And now we're going to be going heads up to the turn. Zach could use another six. Oh, and there it is and on the gets turn. It. Oh, my goodness. It's taking a little bit more time than he usually does. I wonder if Wesley's going to pick up on that. No he catching up here for Wesley. Nice Just going to see uh, how much more. Oh, full house. Full house. How much more can Zach get into this, get from Wesley into this pot? Let's put him to the test. He calls. Oh, wow. He calls. Big hand here for Zach. Wowzers. And now Zach at 171,000. Getting paid off in a gr big way for Zach. This is danger for the rest of the tournament field, folks. We've seen him do it. And that's it for uh, Wesley for now. I know we're going to see him again. Wesley is a big fan of these uh, larger tournaments. Shows up ready to fire at it. <laughs> he might even fire again tonight. They're still, you can still get in. Big hand. I can agree with Mike there, though. I mean, when you got Ace Jack in that situation, he probably there has a full house or Ace King. That's a tough spot for Ace Jack, but yeah, he was a non-believer. Yep. And now big smiles from Zach. Yes. I mean, that's a run good too. I mean, not only are you hitting hands, but you're getting paid off. You're not just getting folds and collecting small pots. Ace ten of spades here on the button for Mike. Over 15K in the middle, Vic, and we have a Jack, Ace, Queen board, and Mike. Mike A. Yeah. It's top pair with the gut shot to Broadway. Mike B. Check, check. And not falling for it. Oh, and <laughs> look at that. Chop pot right now. Let's just see if someone. <laughs> I think the only 7, way 7,000 is the bet. Smooth call. And the only possibility is if a heart comes and someone really plays it. Oh, or a board pair. Or the pairs, board pairs. I don't think anyone's folding this hand, for, especially for 8,000. Straight. Nice catch. Chop it up. Spicy boys for a boat. Choppy, choppy. There's Marissa. Collecting the seat card. We're going to get another player coming in here, make sure that we're, our table is uh, balanced and complete. For our big tournaments now, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing nine-handed, and there is the uh, the board. I don't can't see that well in the back to see what the current count is. I can see we got 11, 12. Keep going. We got more. Oh, no, 13 that's not for the vouchers. The number of vouchers. So right now we're currently at 13, 13 vouchers right now. But that is not final. No. We have till the end. Of the next break, but they'll just keep adding them on as we get more players. So 17 minutes to this level, and then the break. At the end of the break, then there will be no more entries for day 1B. MGM Bob right there. And MGM Bob, I believe, did bag. Bob Enright there. I believe he did bag from this morning. He's in uh, seat 8, table 12 there. We've got a raise from George and a call from Mike, and we're going to go heads up. Jack 10 versus Ace 10. 
George hitting the best of this with his Jack-10. A bet and a smooth call here from Mike. Oh, boy. Mike now in the lead with this hand. Eight of spades, no help there for George. Colonel taking down the pot with the nemesis, King Jack. We got Eva from Montana checking in. Eva, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Kali, the uh, answer to your question is yes. Got that information from you. Thank you very much. Hopefully in a uh, couple of weeks you'll see. I love when we, the hoodie got in your way. I hear of people tuning in from out of state. Especially from Montana. I want to check out Montana so bad. That is on my destination vacation spots. Putting the pressure on for 18K. Big Mike with pocket fives lets it go. NBA picking up a nice pot there. Really impressed with her play. She made damage control too when she got turned. Flop three of a kind with nines. Player with two pair. Got a second jack on the turn for a full house. Lost minimal. For that type of situation, George now with the push of fives. Looks like 15-4. Yep. Big Mike has the chips, but I, I think he would have maybe came along 
if he was in a different spot, but with the whole table behind him, gets out of the way. And he's going to get a walk. George picking up 3.2K. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Staying alive. There's the updated chip count right now. Zach in the lead. Leo getting out of the way with the dirty diaper. NBA folds. Zach out of the way. Now Mike in the small blind. Suited Jack. Just to cover some uh, logistics here with our live stream uh, yeah. for this event uh, tonight, uh, they're coming up on a their dinner break, and the dinner break is 30 minutes. So we will be going idle here for uh, 30 minutes, but then we are going to continue to live stream tonight for another hour of that. So we'll be going till uh, about 11 o'clock tonight. Please bear with us uh, for that 30 minute break. Please come back, schedule yourself here. And then on Sunday, for our restart, the restart here in Toledo is at 1 p.m. We are going to go live at the end of the first break. And that will be uh, right at around 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday. Dom and I will be back in the booth again calling the feature table that inevitably will become the final table. And now George... Just continues to get these uh, pocket pairs. Right, it's, uh, 13,600. And he just For keeps eight. running into Mike with a good hand. Mike now with ace, queen, MBA with pocket sixes. She gets out of the way. Mike gets out of the other Mike. Big hand alert. Here it is, the yeah. push. And now a push here from George. Can his pair hold up again? For another double up. Well, I'll tell you what, if George, he's been grinding the low stack. If he wins this one, he'll be back in business one hand away. Kind of want to get to that 100,000 mark, and he'd be up just under 50. But here we go. Here's a flip. We saw some of the folds, so George is a little bit more favorite than normal. And we got a 7 8 5 board. So far, so good for George. Another 8. And the 10s hold. The 10s hold up. And we will, at the break coming up, coloring off the 100 chips. Correct. So the you, grays. You will see those go bye bye. Oh my. Oh I'm I'm good right now, thank you. But Vic, the Oakland Grizzlies. Yes. The little college right outside Detroit in a in a tiny division one conference yeah. upset the Kentucky Wildcats oh my as a fourteen seed March in March Madness. Madness. So the madness is underway. By the way, if you come into the reserve this week, folks, not a better there isn't a better spot to watch the games. We have all four games on. We have Eight televisions around the room. I believe seven or eight televisions around the room. Rotating the game so you can see it all. I'm telling you, it's a fun atmosphere. It really here. is. You got some a big poker tournament. You got the games on. Give me a little ball. 
check, check. 50 for Charlie Company for 20,000. Hold. 3,000 and a fold. And I think you heard the clapping out there. We're on a 15-minute delay, and that's what a lot of the people in the poker room were clapping about ah, when it became official. Yes. Anytime you can see a local team right. that play, especially plays in one of the smallest divisions in, col in uh, college basketball, yeah. pull off an upset like that, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, 80 to 76. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> Just, does it? Poor Calipari hasn't won anything in 15 years. Still gets paid 10 million. Yeah, I don't feel too bad for the guy. They run him off screens. And he just, that's all he does is shoot threes. He's like JJ, he's like, he's like JJ, right? Like, no, but I mean, they run, they run like a, they run like 13 and a half screens, so underdogs. Like range. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, wow. They're, uh, that is quite the upset. There was a guy, Vic, that said he was taking $100 on every single first round game and just money lining the underdogs. Oh. And I guarantee a 13 point favorite money line that he got a nice turnout for that. Back to the action here. Pocket tens for Melissa. And now we got a dealer change. Here comes Patch. I want to thank everybody that's joined us tonight. And thank you for the hitting the like button. This is a feature table of day... 1B, day 1A, 133 players, 13 players advanced to day 2 with the top bag being 785,000 by Dominique Torre. And the low stack of the 13 players, 160,000. And I believe the blinds will start on Sunday... Four eight and four thousand, or is it two four? And I think it's four eight, but that'll be determined. Uh, I think that is it's whatever the average. Stack whatever is. the average chip stack is. But I think you're right in the wheelhouse. Yeah. And then on Sunday, the restart in real time here in Toledo is at one p.m. We will have a feature table, and we will start live streaming that right at around three p.m. on Sunday. The beauty of having uh, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell next to it is that you get notifications. True story. And I could tell when we uh, started this one today, there were a number of people that got notifications. Comes in handy. Well, it's coming off the break. Yeah. 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 Trust him. If I he steals it from me, I'll just give it back to you anyway. Well, oh, can't ignore the fact. George. Can't ignore, ignore the fact that uh, Zach and Mike take opportunities to rub each other once in a while <laughs> with some zingers. Mike, they have a lot of uh, history together. Tournament play, mostly. Ace ten going away real quickly. Yeah, NBA. NBA. Can, uh, take advantage of everyone kind of being coy with this and raising it up to 4,100. And she finds some uh, the blinds and some dead money. Yeah, take advantage of those chips in front of you. Nice play.
That sounds like they're getting ready for that break. And again, once again, folks, this is a 30-minute break. We're going to be going idle here for 30 minutes. Pretty sure you don't want to hear uh, Dom and I talk about just anything we can think of for 30 minutes. Yeah, so we're going to be stretching our legs a little we're bit. We're going to be stretching our legs, take a break. We will sandwich. come back for another hour of action tonight. See who will make a push. And with the 15-minute delay, basically that means uh, we'll be going till 11.15. You heard it from Patch? You heard it from Patch. Patch, who we saw play on our Saturday live stream, remember, yeah. who helps us out with when we have big turns, but he had his son on here for his birthday. I just thought that was a really cool, unique way of spending your day, uh, you know, your special day with your son playing on the live stream. Leo. I like this. Take advantage of everyone being hungry, Leo. Put the pressure on. See if you can get some dead money. Oh, but Zach waking up with a monster on the button. Pocket tens. Last hand before the break. And he's been getting a little run good. He's been playing good also. A mixture. Bad shape here. Yeah, he's in bad over. shape. And 7,000 here to make this call. It's just sniffing value, but he's going to keep him honest and defend. Wow. 25K in the middle, Vic. Yeah, heads up. On a Jack 5 deuce board, tens. Still in the lead for Zach. Tony, for tens, if you're going to see any paint card, you usually want to see the Jack. Want to keep the ace, king, queen off yeah, there. Yeah, right. And he folds, and that's going to be that. So, yeah, we're going to go on a 30-minute break, folks. It's the dinner break for the tournament. We'll have the clock up there so you get a little time. You can grab a sandwich, stretch your legs also, and we'll be back for another hour of this action here for our 100K guarantee and $500 as you, bounty turn. And as you can see, 133 players this morning and now 135 players in this one. So uh, 13 players advanced this morning. And now 14 players are going to have the opportunity to advance to day two. And there's and a chance we might get 15 because it's unofficial. We might have a few players. We would have to get 10 players yeah. that either just knocked out of this hand and also walked in right. last minute. It is a 30-minute break, so you never know. But, yeah, most likely... I think you're right, Vic. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned, and we'll be back in 27 minutes and 30 seconds. All right. See you soon. Thank you very much.
right. And uh, guys, we are back. Myself and the ultimate victory cigar of poker. My my partner in life pretty much now. I mean, Vic, <laughs> I always say it over and over again. Myself and Vic, folks, it, it's been an amazing uh, last year where I am with this man <laughs> just as much as our, my family, my yeah. friends. Yeah. And uh, we are here with 55 seconds left, about to bring you another hour of this action in this 100K guarantee prize pool tournament where there's a little twist in it, Vic. We said it right away. But like I said, this Sunday, guys, please tune in. It's going to be a fun tournament where every single knockout, a player is going to receive $500. And we've all had that story before, and I'm going to repeat myself, Vic. We talked about this on one of our cash live streams where you go into day two. You get knocked out right before the big money happens, and you have that poker story from your buddy. Man, I caught fire. I raised my chip stack up. You know, I had checks upon checks, and then one hand took it all away. But I, and you probably knocked out about seven players. Well, in this tournament, Vic, yeah, you don't have to worry about that as much as because much. you get five hundred dollars every knockout. So if you get hot right away, and even if you get lucky, maybe right before the final table. You could bring in an extra three thousand bucks yes. on a two hundred and forty dollar buy in. Right. That's a great day of work right that there. That is for a great basically day. Basically a two day tournament. Don't yeah. get me wrong, you could play more than one day once, but basically it's a two day tournament. So here we are, back in the action, folks. Thanks for coming back. Welcome back. Vic, we got Queen Ten, we got Ace Ten. Sharing is caring. King six suited. A little bit of a, a potluck. And just a uh, a limp pot here with and these four oh, players. This could be a dangerous hand for my. Uh, I'm sorry, Leo, Vic, Melissa, J, top pair. Top, oh, and he and he goes all in. Goes all in. And I don't blame him with this chip stack size with the straight and the flush draw out there. A lot of times, this could be the proper play. Yeah. Melissa asking for a count here. She does have I don't think this can, covered. I don't think she can get away, Vic, but you got to admit, a limp pot scares you. Yeah, it, it does, right. He could have anything right now. Yeah. But, man, you are so strong right now. He could also be pushing, you know, with a semi-bluff, maybe with hearts. And she makes the call, understandably. So... Yeah, I just think, you know, you got to run good in these tournaments, too. And yeah, George and Mike will now fold. And this will be uh, Leo's day 1B Man, and stack right away. at risk here. First hand back, Vic, and we already have an all-in situation. And there's another deuce. There's some chop outs now. And that'll be it for Leo. I'm pretty sure we will see him. Uh, there's still four more flights to go, two tomorrow yeah. and two on Saturday. I did see uh, Wesley on the break. He did uh, buy back in. And I did see a couple other people that got knocked out and said they're, they're coming back. They want to do what they can over these next four flights to see if they can bag. 13 people bagged this from the morning, the uh, large bag. And if you look right here on table 12 in uh, seat 8, there is a very familiar face to people that have been watching the live stream lately, and that is Mr. Bob Enright. And oh, yeah. Big, Bob, big on, Bob Enright was one of those baggers this morning. The biggest bag was 785, but He's not too shabby. Bob dip. bagged with 475. So he's going for a double bag he's in the first day. In the first day, he's going for a double bag. Well, good luck to Mr. Enright. That's some endurance, Vic. Raise it up to 6K. Blinds are 1 in 2,000. Mike, the standard 3X raise. And looks like he's going to take down the blinds and annies. Nice hand. And if you're just joining us or if you're... Uh, Joined, you were with us before the break and uh, stayed with us or came back. We are greatly appreciate it. We're going to be going for uh, just another hour here. This is just a feature table, and I say just. It is a feature table for uh, 1B. And um, just some of the 
numbers to go over. This is a $240 buy-in, starting stack of 40000 These are 25-minute levels. Restart on Sunday, 1 p.m. The restart on the live stream on Sunday will be around 3 p.m. Nate now joining this table as we keep these tables balanced at nine-handed. Well, welcome to the table. Welcome Vic. to the table with Jax. It's a nice pair right away at Raise, the table. Raise, no challengers there, so he takes down the blinds, which are currently 1,000, 2,000 with a $1,000 ante. Vic, where does that rank up? Obviously, winning a tournament or maybe hitting a three-outer on the river is higher. But how good does it feel when you get a table change? And you look down at a big pair like tens or higher on the very first hand. No one knows how you play. Exactly. You yeah. Think, they think, oh, who is this guy? Just right. Firing. That, that's in my top five <laughs> poker feelings. <laughs> when, you, when you get a table change in a tournament, you just look down at a big pair. It's a good welcome. Look at Mike in the wing. Yeah, waiting in the wings. Ace, queen suited in diamonds, Vic. NBA, too, right behind him with king, ten offsuit. Sixty-five hundred, a little over three X, and she has the button. One thing though, Mike hasn't—he's been showing some good hands, so it's kind of this is a tweener hand right now. She makes the call. Oh, oh, and the Colonel now, Ace Jack of Spades. Good size stack there in front of him, and yeah, he's—I think Mike. Just thinking that's a squeeze. And MBA gets out of the Snap way call. real quick. He did not hesitate with the ace queen on there. He's going to see he's in great shape. 101K in the middle, and this is a huge pot for either player. Mike only has 22 behind. But he is in the driver's seat right here. Here we go, folks. 101 in the middle. There's a spade and a king, three, king, seven, rainbow board. A jack and a jack only will save the colonel. And Mike taking down a big one. Colonel, yeah, nice run, brother. One. Yep. Always a pleasure, colonel. Always a pleasure, and I know that colonel is uh, one of those guys that's going to be playing all weekend. So we will see him again, I'm sure, tomorrow morning. Doors open at 10 a.m. for 11 a.m. start. A lot of the uh, frequently asked questions about these tournaments is, what time should I show up? And uh, certainly day one, A and B, typically not that uh, that big. I mean, it's nice that we've got uh, 13 players from this morning and 14 players from uh, this evening advancing. But as the uh, we go to each flight, it does seem to grow particularly Saturday. If you're considering Saturday, be sure that you get here early to assure that you uh, get a good spot and uh, not are, and that you're not waiting as an alternate. Now back to the action now between Mike and Melissa. A raise from Melissa and a call from Mike. Oh, and there's a five. Comes from behind. Yeah, and Mike's going to feel it out. So yeah. Is that him bottom pair? Putting 10 him. grand out there. And he takes it down. By the way, so a little off topic, but it, it goes with our live stream, Vic. Do you remember on, I believe, Tuesday when Buddha led out with ace-10 and I questioned why, why wouldn't he check it if he thought it was the best hand and it could be a bluff catcher? Do you remember that? Yes. Remember I said that, I, and I love this about Buddha. I cannot read this right now because I'm on the live stream. You know the whole thing, but look at this. Buddha with a text, five paragraphs. Buddha, if you're watching, I love your passion for poker, and I'm yeah. going to check this out when I get home and I can actually read it and not rush through it. But thank you, by the way, for, the, for that information because he's a player I respect a lot, but anytime you can... Get a second opinion on a hand, I think it's an opportunity to learn. Well, he's a student of the game, you know, without a yeah. doubt. And I love picking his brain. And here we go. Battle of the blinds. 
Yeah, jack seven versus ace seven, and there's an ace right on the flop. Three five. Ace, all spades. Free card. I'm curious to see if Zach's. He's not. He's, he's got a, the, yeah, he's got a gut shot forward. here. He's but both he and Mike have the same gut shot. Mike now two pots in a row. Yeah, basically, and those add up. Nice hand, Mike. Zach up to 173k, playing some good poker tonight. Jackie Flynn, of course, it's our honor to uh, mention you whenever we can. You and your husband, Mike, and we wish you all the best tomorrow. And here is a uh, player coming in who's uh, a regular on our chat board. You will recognize him on the chat as uh, Tony Paco. Tony Paco! Let's see what he uh, chooses as a uh, name. Well, good luck to him. A handle here on the live stream. It's always your choice when you come in. Hey, good luck, sir. And first hand right out of the gate. He's going to call. Come in. Check. Love when we get fellow family members of the Reserve Poker family on the live stream. Ones that are on the message board. What's your name for the live stream? Check. Check. Oh, Ace King being Ace slow played here. Little disguise action. I'm the biggest troll on your guys' live stream. <laughs> He's just the biggest <laughs> troll on your guys' live yeah. stream. <laughs> Jack on the turn, and now Melissa hitting top pair. Yeah, that was me. We have a mystery hand from Tony Paco in seat six. The board pairs. We go to showdown. And Melissa has the best of it. There she goes. Continuing to build up her stack. I'm impressed with her poker play today. So I think I've dealt to her in the main room. She said this is the first time on the live stream, but I was like, are you sure? It must have just been from dealing her in the main room, maybe in the past. I, I think so. She, has, uh, she comes to us uh, from up near Pontiac, Michigan. Oh, with where the Silver Dome was. Yep, up in that area. Hulk Hogan slamming Andre the Giant, 1987, WrestleMania. <laughs> Historical day. NBA, pocket aces. Ooh. Blinds, one, two, and one. She's got the goods. Raises it up to 9,000. Four and a half X here. George getting rid of Ace Jack. Yeah, a little bit too much. I mean, it's one, two blinds. One of mine seen, you know, seven or six. I yeah. think that Ace Jack might have came along. You don't get aces too often. But still, takes down the blinds and annies. Adds to the stack. Tony Paco now. MBA, it, pocket jacks now? Is right this after real? the aces. This time, a raise of 60, up to 6,500. She must have learned from the aces. I was about to say, why do you only raise up to 6.5 with a weaker hand? She's probably thinking, you know what? Maybe I got a little too excited. Maybe. Why not, and, oh, the nemesis, King Jack. Heads up action, and we got a five. Four, five board, couple of clubs. Check. Over the pot. She's going to make you pay if you want to suck out. Yeah, she is.
Hold the hand, buy a hoodie. <laughs> Play at your own risk. It says it right on there. The Nemesis, yeah. live at the reserve. Two pots in a row now. There you go. Nice job, NBA. Nice hand. It is confirmed. We will be playing down to 14 players tonight. Our live stream is just going till 11.15 tonight on this feature table. Probably be back at it again on Saturday evening. If you hit that uh, subscribe button and the bell, you'll get notifications. Zach mixing it up. He is mix mixing it up here. He's 6'4 uh, suited. Two players sharing the nemesis. Zach King is Jack. pretty much the uh, chip leader here at this table. Wow. I uh, I kind of like Zach's hand right now. Let's see what happens. Here comes the flop. Deuce, deuce, ace. And if he see bets this, he'll probably take it down. 4,000. Bet's 4,000. Tiny little bet. Didn't take much, but he uh, put a bet out there and takes down that pot. And remains the chip leader here at this table. This is a feature table for day 1B. Well, Vic. They I started today at 6 p.m. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Uh-oh. Now but what? In, but in two hands, just in two hands, we've seen three players in two hands lose money off King Jack. Uh, well, that's we got to get that on the on the but chart. I, I mean, it, it's it, it double dipped in one hand. Yeah. The last two hands, three players losing money with the nemesis hand. Get it on the spreadsheet. Zach letting it go. George getting rid of Queen 10. Tens for Tony Paco waiting in the wings. Mike on the button though with the ace. This is a standard raising position. Textbook poker here, and I don't blame them right now, especially when the blinds are high. Everyone folds around to you. You see an ace. This is just a cooler situation. Tony Paco. He's going to bump it back up. He's going to three bet this to 17,000. I like that bet sizing. He's got the chips. He's going to come along. Heads up action here. 37K in the pot. Queen for king board. Not a good flop for tens, but right now he doesn't know, but he has the best hand. Check, check, though. Now an open ender. Let's make it feel a little bit better. See if he's going to try to take this down now. 20,000. Two thirds of the pot, roughly. Sorry, actually. Take that back. That was 37 in there. Just over half pot. Yeah, nice bet sizing, but Tony Paco takes it down. Bringing in some chips. Nice hand. Other Mike is going to limp in here with ace-10 diamonds. Blinds at 1, 2, and 1. NBA gets out of the way, so we're heads up. Five, deuce, deuce. Ace high still in the lead for Mike. Free card and a queen on the turn. Melissa now in the lead. 
checks it, and Mike bets it. Mike now with one out. An ace and only an ace. Go to showdown, and Melissa's going to take this with the spades. Yep, flush. She got the got there with the flush draw. Didn't necessarily need it as long as an ace didn't come up on the river. Nice hand. She's going to profit a little bit there. Up to 124K for uh, Melissa. Playing some good poker. for Melissa, NBA, with the ace jack. The Doyle gets out of the way. Heads up. Heads up. Yeah. The, ladies. the ladies going at it. Eights versus ace jack. And eights hold right now on a king do seven board. Check, check. Check. And there's an ace for NBA. Takes it down. Another pot for NBA. She's got momentum, Vic. Another number to uh, keep track of here as we watch another about 45 minutes of this feature table. There are $5,400,000 in uh, chip, uh, chips in play after uh, 135 entries with 10% uh, moving on. And I believe we're down to around 70 players right now. So that puts the average chip stack right at around 75, 77,000. And uh, certainly the thing to keep track of is uh, when you look at a chip stack, how many big blinds are left? And I bring that up because I'm looking at Mike and seat two, who's down to 50,000. Really not in a panic mode yet. He's got 25 big blinds. Got young Patrick in the saddle, slinging the cards. Paco rocking the toothpick. That, that just that just gets the ambiance of a true poker player. I love it. Old school. George coming at it, trying to take it down now with the sixes. I like the play. Vic, I'll tell you what. The blinds are getting to the level now when you're seeing the bet sizing at like six, seven. Anywhere from 6,000 to 9,000. Limping in has to kind of get out of your vocabulary unless you really have a tweener hand and there's maybe five players in the pot and you're one of the last players to act and you really think you could see a flop. But if there's no one limping in ahead of you, it's mostly like if you're not prepared to call 7K preflop, yeah. you're just going to basically donate 2,000 at a time right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. And speaking of uh, Limpy in, uh, MBA does that here with Ace Three. Yeah, and and now, and you're now she's in a tough situation because there's a raise up to eight thousand. And you want to be able to, you, like a chess game, you want to be able to thinking be thinking about what's the next move, and nice move here by Mike, with the Jack Two of Spades. Yeah, he I think he's seen results where a lot of players are limping in, and folding. And what do we have here? By the way, George? Defending. George made the call. NBA got out high. of the way. Oh, look at the flush draw for Mike. A great flop for him to continue. 
And he's doing this with the low stack. Yeah, represent the ace. And if you get called, you still got plenty of outs with the flush draw. That worked out well. Yeah. Another number to talk about here just after two flights. We are 53% uh, of our guarantee already just after two flights. And there's four more flights to go. With a hundred thousand dollar prize pool guarantee, Dom, I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to put you under the spotlight and have you make a prediction. Where are we going to be here come Sunday? Oh, you're talking like average chip stack or like? No, I'm talking about total prize pool. We're fifty three percent already um, after two flights. After two flights, I say a hundred and eighty k in the prize pool. I like that number. 180k, and I won't be shocked if we hit 200k in our 100k guarantee. But I think 180k, especially if you already have half of it down on Thursday, which is usually you know just the opening day. Not everyone can get in here on Thursdays. Fridays and Saturdays are a little bit busier. Yeah, I think 180k is definitely doable. The bell in the background means the blinds are going up. Next hand. We got top pair and open and straight draw from Mike. The other Mike flops the low end open under. So Mike can see two. Quickly takes his stack from fifty thousand. Up to 74,000, which is about what the average chip stack is at this point. 5,400,000 chips in play in this day 1B. And we are getting another player coming in to. Oh, no, that's. Uh, no, we are getting another player coming in to uh, fill seat 9. And a familiar face. And a great handle. See if he uh, has the same name that he's had in here in the past. And here comes No Chop. The action just got a little bit better. No Chop has had a couple deep runs in our tournaments. And he's sitting down with a hundred thousand. Yep, staying consistent with that name. He's gonna make the call. Blinds are fifteen, three and fifteen hundred. Poor George. It's all right, George. Nate getting after it. 11.5 pre flop. Now over the no chop. And if he thinks he's live right now. He will come along, and yep, and there he is. No Chop has a wide range of cards. He's fun to watch, and he's a dangerous player. And look at that, a jack right on the, in the window, but followed with a king and a six, Vic. So Nate still with the lead after we saw that jack as the first card <laughs> come up. Yeah. No Chop does check it. With 32,000 in the pot, Nate's now going to bet a little more than half, 18,500. Shows the jack and folds. Nice hand. Good job, Nate. 
Taking it down. No chop, good fold, by the way. Yeah. Heads up, floppy mid pair. We got a dealer change coming in. Our good friend Nick, Tarantula Nick. And listen to what No Chop said, by the way. I think that definitely has something to play into it. He goes, I just got here. I'll give you credit for it. Yes. It does change your outlook a little bit when you haven't played it at the table at all. You just sit down and you get in the hand. You have no scouting report time. I definitely like to at least see one orbit when I get a table change to really kind of say, oh, I have a read on this. Right. Does make a difference. C2 Mike is going to make the call. 3,000. Nate gets out of the way. And uh, a check from NBA. Hey, so free flop. Take it. Heads up action. 9K in the middle. Both players live. We got a 6 8 7 board. Check, check. Going to the turn. Looks like another check in place. They're going to be checking it down. Oh, and there's, there's the jack. A free card. Once again, Vic, free card. Yes. Two free cards. MBA in the big blind. Adds 4,500 to her stack. Cheeseburger in the house on the message board. Checking in from the land. By the way, smash that thumbs up, guys, if you're tuning in. We appreciate it. Climbing up there in the likes. I like it. And, Don, uh, this, now we've announced that uh, our, our nightly tournaments are still 10-handed. Of course, unless we have a, a PLO tournament or a crazy pineapple, pineapple tournament. But we've announced now since the Millie, the nine-handed in these big tournaments has been working well for us. Yep. And so that'll be what we'll be doing going forward. I'm, I'm very interested to hear from uh, the folks in our chat room how they feel about that. If you're a, re a regular tournament player, you know, how I you feel about playing nine-handed versus ten-handed. I got feedback from the players today about it, actually. Yeah. It's funny you brought that up. Uh, Jules and a few others chimed in, and they even said they like it just for the comfort level. Yes. Well, that's a big part of it, they're, right? They're, yeah. just, they're playing more comfortable throughout the day. And um, so I completely understand that. I will admit, though, one thing. If you're going to play nine-handed, Vic, I still like when you go to the very final table starting it with ten-handed because when the blinds are that big at the end, I don't want to play five-handed, and sometimes that can go for a while because it's a completely different game. Yeah. That's about the only time. And I think we did that, though, in the Millie, didn't we? When we we went ten-handed for the final table. For the final table. Yes, yeah. and, and I love that little switch there. Just because, like I said, the blinds are so huge at that point. Yeah, Cody says 10-handed uh, is a no-go. Ready to golf says nine players. And it really is for comfort. I think if poker tables were slightly bigger, everyone would probably say 10-handed. And I really think comfort is the biggest thing. I know the odds change a little bit, but I don't think it affects much. There is advantages with that extra player. You're not in the blinds, obviously, as often. With 10. But from the feedback I got today, no one really mentioned, you know, the game changing with 10 players, the 9 players. It was pretty much 100%. They like the comfort of just that little bit of extra space, especially when you're going to play a tournament that could go for 8 hours or more that day. Ah. Well, Chris, you bring up, uh, says your dad... Prefers nine-handed, did not want to come here and play uh, tournaments because we were ten-handed. 
So let them know, at least for the big tournaments, we're going to be going uh, ten-handed, or nine-handed, excuse me. Not going to lie, that sounds a little extreme, though, just well, for that. Well, it depends, you know. Somebody gets used to uh, playing poker, if they've been playing poker for a long time, and they have a certain preference. I think in, like, charity rooms and poker clubs and even casinos, it's more regular to see ten-handed in tournament than nine-handed. I think in the last two years, places have really changed going down to nine-handed but especially in the early 2000s in, in the teens you know 2010 to 2020 that was at least everywhere i went and i i played yeah. in columbus and in the detroit area and in windsor it, it was pretty much all 10 handed over four hand to go to this flop jack eight seven right now no chop hitting top pair he's gonna check Melissa gets a piece of this. She's yeah. in position on the button. She's got middle pair with an ace kicker. I would do this every time to find out where I'm at. If everyone checks and I flop mid pair with an ace kicker, I at least want to see, see, hey, what's going on? And also, can I get a couple players to fold? And that's what she just did. She is behind at the moment. King on the turn. Still a rainbow board. No chop. Still in the lead with his jack. And she's not taking the bait. She checks back, gets a free card. And now no chop. Might go for a little value here. You can play the king with two pair. And Chris brings up a, a point that we talked about from everyone say Literally, it, it is a comfort thing. Yeah. The, odd, the odds really don't change any player's mind. And he did get some more value out of this. He bet 7000 and got a call from Melissa. So no chap's going to add to his stack here at the feature table for our day 1B. Vic, I got a question for you. Yes. Your opinion on this. A table. Folks, you're looking at that table. Great shot of this table right here. You can't tell as much on the screen, but if you go play on this table, this is a deep table. Deep. It's bigger than our other poker tables. Yep. So I think at a table this size, if, if every, but no one would do this because you can't fit as many tables in your poker room. Now, like we have 17. Yeah. I think you could only fit maybe 12 of these, right. maybe 13. So you'd have to take away from tables. But if every table was this size, I think 10 would not be an issue because it's so much bigger and you almost have the same amount of room as our regular size tables out there in our main lobby with, with 10 here and nine out there because it's so much bigger. Well, and I was going to say, as a dealer, uh, nine-handed is a much easier game to manage. Uh, and uh, this table is a tough table to deal. It, it is deep, it's for sure. Deep. I'm 6'3", and yeah. I barely get by in it. I can't yeah. imagine someone who's you know 5'8", five, 5'10". Five, and, of course, this was designed specifically for being a live stream table with uh, chip readers underneath it. Mm -hmm. Position just right for the cameras and the lights. And speaking of position in the small blind, small Zach, blind, ace jack and clubs. Mike seat two had uh, limped in. No chop was the initial raiser. He made it six k. Oh no! Uh, sorry, ace nine was uh, on the big blind. Yeah, this is a pretty Four, strong hand for Yeah, 14,000 to call. Yeah, when everyone more, folds, more than 10% of his stack. The yeah, whole table folds around. You just have the button and blinds. You see ace-jack suited. Majority of the time, you're in pretty good shape. Zach, not only uh, playing position with good cards, but uh, playing big stack poker here. Just got uh, the word from the chosen one that uh, we're going to be going uh, another 15 minutes here. Please stay with us. There's a lot of action here in this next 15 minutes. Please subscribe and be sure to hit that bell. That way you'll know 
if for some reason tomorrow night we decide to throw together a live stream on a feature table, we do that. We're pretty sure we'll be doing that Saturday night. I have a feeling we are going to be a little bit busy, though, if I'm going by my gut. And I'm I talking so about too. the way our tournaments are growing. But we'll definitely be here Sunday for sure. That's a lock. We can say that. Sunday is a lock. We will be here right at around 3 o'clock. I'm going to say between 3 and 5. I'm gonna say I was going to make an assumption. Vic, have you gotten confirmation? I've got confirmation that uh, it the desired start time for the live stream is 3 o'clock. I like it. George now again with the pocket queens. And have we seen him with queens four times here on this live stream feature table? He's had the ladies. He's had the ladies, and we've seen him Be on both continue ends to it. stay alive. And he shows the queens. Majority of the time they've been good. He also had them against Kings. And that was the hand that really propelled Zach. Yes. Where Soy was in the hand Soy. with nines. Yep. We had Kings, nines, and Queens, but I believe. That was a triple up for Zach. He was the uh, lowest of the three stacks going into that. Yeah, but George at least broke even, if not maybe made like 10 grand because he took the side took pot Took the side pot the down. Nines. That was a pivotal moment for uh, Zach. I don't remember the exact amount that uh, George uh, won. Or like I said, he might have just broke even. But, yeah, I got a little lucky with queens there when you run in the kings. Yeah. You can at least salvage some chips from a side pot. No chop now looking at a suited ace. Said he's been getting aggressive. Love the way he plays poker. Putting the pressure on. I'll tell you what, Vic, the deeper the tournament gets, the more dangerous no chop gets. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Kiwi just brought to my attention. We got 65 likes already, and especially for, you know, a live stream. We didn't have a set time. We just kind of made it happen when we could. Today, appreciate all you guys hitting that like button. It goes a long way helping the channel grow. Gets us in the algorithm and YouTube. Helps us get out there. So thanks again for everyone that's being active, uh, watching, hitting that thumbs up. NBA with Queen 10. This is where, you know, when you have Queen 10, though, here, I would like to, you now ooh, Pocket Kings. Now, this is going to look like a blessing in disguise because of the situation, Vic. But, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, with Queen 10, if you're going to play, make it like 7.5K, even 8K pre-flop with these blind levels. A few times you might get a couple folds. But right here, Nate's going to raise it up to 8K. Pricing NBA in pretty much. And she does come along. She's got queen 10. Their stacks are similar. Nate has a little bit more than she does. Ace right on the flop. So a check from Nate and a free card. And the seven of diamonds gives Nate the check mark here and he's going to bet out thirty five hundred talk about a feeler bet and Nate tech takes that one down nice hand Nate Mike, we are the reserve. We are in Toledo, Ohio, 5105 Glendale Avenue. We're coming up on our three-year anniversary. Go to thereservepoker.com, and you can check out. We are open seven days a week with tournaments every day. We live stream here.
cash games, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturday nights. Our next cash live stream will be Tuesday night, the 5-5-10 No Limit Hold'em cash game, $1,000 to $2,000 buy-in. Oh, we got these 10 suits for NBA making an 8K to go. I like this play here. Like I said, you can get some walks as long as no one wakes up with, you know, a monster like Pocket Kings. Oh, Mike now. Ace Jack. He's just going to smooth call. I think out of respect, they both of these players have seen respectable hands out of both parties. And we have a 9-3-4 board, couple of spades. Wow, nice and flop there for NBA. Yeah, especially the C bet this. She was behind, and now she's ahead. Computer still has it as a coin flip. And Mike making the call. Queen of spades. Now Mike is in the lead here. Can she fire a second bullet here. She's going to go all in. Put the pressure on. Great play. Very good play here. This would take a hero call. And he gets away. Nice play by MBA. Very nice. The semi bluff. Still had plenty of outs, but love the aggression. Yeah, and she needs to do a little bit more than I think sometimes because she's got such a strong table image right now. She's definitely gained the respect of the table. You're only getting called with a premium. So nice play by MBA. She's up to 99, just around 100K. Definitely in contention to make a run at day two. And all these players, Vic, between, you know, 90 and 130K, if they get a full double up, you're pretty much thinking day two is a strong possibility as long as you play a solid game the rest of the way. You don't even have to get cute. Right. Just keep accumulating just an average chip amount per hour. Couple of folds. Now Zach. King Jack of Diamonds. Bumps it up to 6,000. And actually, it's funny. We were talking. I was talking about the Queen 10 earlier. You know, 7.5K, but the, pretty much this is it. You know, King Jack, you might be able to get a walk here, but you can kind of gauge what people have if they just smooth call it. There's no huge monster out there. You might even feel better about yeah. a tweener hand like this. This is currently uh, level 10. And we have a three jack five board and Zach flops top pair. Fifteen K in the pot. And Mike, I'll uh answer your question here in a second. Get through this hand. Zach with the continuation bet. MBA. Let's it go. Zach continues to be the uh, chip leader here at this feature table. We should be down to, I think, around 60 or 70 players now starting. Or we had a total today of 135. 14 players will advance to day two. So we'll just play down to 14. Here in the live stream, we're just going for about another five or ten minutes. And then uh, we'll come back again possibly Saturday night with a feature table for day for the sixth of our six day ones we are the reserve in toledo ohio and our cash games are based on uh paying by time we are we are a no rake uh, institution and if you take a look at our tournaments seven days a week the uh, fees are built into the uh, tournament amount Tournament fee, for example, this is a $240 buy-in. 200 of that's going directly to the prize pool. 
This tournament is a $100,000 prize pool guarantee. We have consistently been shattering our guarantees as we did during the $1 million prize pool guarantee. Variety pack going to the flop here. 4-4 four, four jack. Nobody hits it. The big whiff. No chop with the aggression. Takes it down. Nice hand. With a true slow motion on collecting the chips. Not giving any tell away. For no chop. <laughs> I like it. No chop. Game face on all the time. Buddy. All the time. All the time. No chop can have a serious look on his face and then tell you a joke that just throws you off because you didn't see it coming. Right. That's that's what I love about him when he does that to me. He has, he's done it to me lately. i got to actually ask him about that. When I first met him, though, sneak a couple in there. One of the nicest gentlemen, by the way, that comes in this room. Yeah. Always a pleasure. He's uh, got about a two-hour drive coming down from that Pontiac area. So he does try to make it here on a regular basis, and you can almost count on him, be him being for our bigger tournaments. Yeah. And he served our country, a true veteran. Yes. Speaking of no chop, in the big blind now with ace-10, and he is going to raise it up. Folks, I told you when he sat down, make it 14,000. He's a great addition to a live stream, and he pushes the action. I said one of my favorite players, I'm repeating myself, but one of my favorite players to watch when I'm dealing. NBA going to come along with King-10 suited. Melissa let go of the queen six. So here we go, heads up. Ace 10 versus king 10, spades versus offsuit. And here comes the flop. Jack, nine, jack. Continuation bet here from no chop. 10,000 is the bet. NBA. Not a believer. She wants to see another card. And you almost wonder, is she going to set up a bluff? And she hits a gut oh, shot. wow. Turns the straight. That also gives no chop an open ender, so his hand improves in his mind. Could be a big pot brewing here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, he's thinking he's blocking the straight. He's going to represent it. All in here from MBA. And there's a call. And this is a big one, folks. 185K in the middle. No chop is going to be rooting for a king. And there's a three in NBA. Wow. A little emotion there. Very much so. Understandably so. Is That's yeah. a big one. A that is a big up. one. And now that's going to put her as the, I believe, the chip leader here for this table. Yeah. And uh, I'm so glad we were able to throw this together on a Thursday night. We usually have our Thursday night cash game. Um, and we have so many people out there that watch us on a regular yeah. basis. And many of those are right here on the chat board tonight. Yeah, thank you. And we really, yeah, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Um, that's going to be it for us tonight. Uh, we're going to be bright back here, bright and early tomorrow morning. Doors open at 10 a.m. for one, day 1C. Yes. And we're already 53% to our $100,000 prize pool guarantee with four more flights to go, Dom. Yeah, two out of two out of six are in the book for our day ones. And as you saw, you saw Mr. Enright going for a double bag yes. already on day yeah. one. So I love seeing that. 
But yeah, great day today. We're going to have a fun-filled week for you guys, and we'll be back for sure on Sunday, possibly Saturday, but just put in the books for sure on Sunday for our day two. Just a reminder, again, we've said it about four times on this live stream already, but $500 every knockout on top of the prize pool. That's going to be so much fun to watch. Action-packed, folks. Yeah, yeah. Well, Vic, always a pleasure, my always friend. Always a pleasure. And yep. remember, everybody, please stay safe.